All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So we had a pretty close call in the last one. I was getting my ass beat until I turned on the stomach punch spam, <laughs> left and right hooks to the body. All of a sudden, the AI just shits itself, and it doesn't know what to do when you start doing that. Um, who are we fighting now? Another wrestler. So I'm gonna probably be doing the same thing in this fight. Can't do strikes like it technically because they just gonna get clinched up and fuck you know the score by now. Parry City. What are we doing? Stand up. <laughs> but I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do me stand up. Not like it fucking matters. Just gonna get clinched. Movement speed, kick and combos, kick and range. Want some missions up? I want to get a few arm bars. So but I couldn't finish any arm bars then. Arm submissions 50. Neck submissions 49. Fuck it, we're just simming this for eight weeks. You get so little gain from this. Like. At least the stamina recovery is at 100 now after doing all this. I know you can do exercises that'll just like boost you one area, like an arm submission, it'll give you a bigger increase or a neck sub, but none of the others really go up all that much, so at least with this one, they're going up a little bit, but they're all going up at the same time. Lee Alvarez. He's a wrestler, wasn't he? Yeah, he's clinching his ground, shit is pretty high. Gonna be more mashing the sprawl button to... to Prevent, deny the take that, uh, deny the clinch attempt. I haven't landed this overhand right yet. I think they've all been, well, once, I think, in that other f couple of fights back, but not really put it to good use yet. All the flying knee. Luke Rockhold, where God, he feels like he's been absent from the UFC for a long time. Hello, he was the last I'm person he fought, was it? By Frank Shamrock for this evening's fight. We should be in ya for once Jan Blachowicz, but Cuba, might be wrong. It's either Blachowicz or Joel Romero, I think. It's time to determine who will enjoy championship glory. Let's go to the tail of the tape. Must only get the actual in cage oh, man, really intros. In oh, I was going to touch gloves, but fuck you then. Oh, and he gets rocked with that shot. He got blasted, absolutely blasted. Those contenders' dreams are turning into a nightmare tonight. Now we're seeing some space as they disengage. Oh. oh, and he gets rocked with that shot early in the first round. What a start! Got rocked him already twice. Bloody hell. Moves in Get off and me. Secures the underhooks. Wilson gives himself from breathing room as he backs away. Wow, what a crushing kick! Oh, wow, he smashed him with that overhead. Training in England has provided him. Wow, that was amazing, <laughs> and that was brutal. What a Keep going, kick. keep going, stop. Oh, it's over. He's won the fight. His ground and pound was too much for the challenger, and the ref had that to fella had had the weakest chin, the or my leg strength has gone up quite a lot. Oh, we rocked him with a punch. But it was kicks that were rocking him initially. I don't know what, what, what just happened. Just to be honest, he just seemed like that was too easy. It's an early bath for. Alvarez. It's still got me. Well, I think most people have as well got their ears peeled for any further developments with the esports e boxing club. There hasn't been anything 
new in terms of developments for at least I think the last video they dropped was the development team was well two months ago um, but there's word around the campfire that that game is 80% done even though the community is stressing out saying it's a long way off but apparently from like an inside source somebody has leaked or somebody like a celebrity who's rubbed shut or someone who's rubbed shoulders with the developers has let it slip that the game is 80% done um, you know they're doing like an alpha test they've just had like YouTubers and invited them to their headquarters to do play tests and shit and it probably is I'd, I'd take a guess if he's saying it's 80% done and yeah, unfortunately it'll probably be like fucking every game that gets released nowadays it'll fucking get released with a shitload of bugs and fucking road maps and fucking just an unfinished product but even though they have took their time with it up to now to the point where people have complained that it's taken Kitaoka Joshua Kitaoka Jiu Jitsu fella oh dear that was look at his stand up on his clinch game it's all in submissions and stats we will have the submission stats up a bit more yeah, so the game will probably be released with fuck tons of bugs and imbalances and you know the drill. Every game releases nowadays. And I'm still gonna get it. I'm gonna get it on the. Uh, if my laptop will run it, uh, my laptop's a 2017 laptop. It's got a, a GTX 1080 in it. But if it if it runs the game all right, I'll, I'll I'd rather get it on the PC than than any of my consoles. I've only got a PS4 and a 360, and obviously I can't get it on a fucking 360. Uh, and I hope it's not a PS5 only thing. And if it is, then I've got no choice but to to get it on the laptop. But it, at least with the PC, I don't play games online anymore but at least if I if I wanted to I can do that on PC and I don't have to pay for for online services with that I don't have to play for PSN or PS Plus and all that shit God, these fucking submissions are going up slowly Jesus Christ getting there though 60 it's at now still not good enough I don't think going up against the High level submission filler. Jacques Souza. I think he's done with his fitness. Left the UFC now, I think, hasn't he? Don't know if he's contracted to them anymore. Haven't seen him for a while. I think it was one of his last performances. I've seen him fight. Hello and welcome. I'm Moro Ronaldo. Kevin Hall. Kevin Hall knocked him out from the from his sure off his back. Strikes from the guard. Avoid the ground with this fella at all costs. In the red corner from England, Bass <laughs> When Lenny Hart does the intros there, where she goes, From England! I think she's trying to do a Cockney accent, but it sounds Australian when she does it. Time to present the tail of the tape for this championship fight. This is what we've all been waiting for. The championship fight is officially underway. He blocks the rear front kick. It's gonna be just before I even get even get me weird out. I was about to say it's Wilson gonna be clinches. This is with the rear front kick. Oh, he swats that kick away like it was a mosquito in the summertime. Oh God, fucking parry and not a good sign. And look for that immediately. I haven't even landed a strike yet. Ah, looks like he's going to engage in this. Mamma mia, what a knee! There's a left punch to the body. Expire looks, looks your stamina. Oh, he's just taking them knees. Katoka. Oh, he just clocked him in the cranium with that knee. Oh, wow. He waited for the right moment and delivers a crushing blow to the cranium. It's enough. Get off. 
Wilson is a mixed martial artist, sure, but each fighter has strengths in certain styles. What's his strength? This guy is a kickboxer through and through. Look at his stance, look at his balance, watch for kick punch combinations and the knockout. Now we're seeing some space as they disengage. Yeah, keep them coming. Come on. Stay on this. Oh, he's nearly gone already. Oh, fuck off. It. It's over. Wilson, he's he's in. He's won the fight. His ground and pound was too much for the challenger, and the ref had to stop the beating. The champion maintains his hold on the gold. Well, we're ready to review some action. Oh, we'll see that fucking spit fly out of his mouth. This. Oh, that's brutal. North south leads to the dome. Another title defense in the bag. What will be like for time? 11 minutes. They keep going. Another comment off. Uh, I think it's a new viewer I've been having on my channel. And there's not many viewers all. Things have bailed on Star Wars now. We'll be view viewer cans just bombed. It was bombed anyway, really. The, no one was even interested in Star Wars shit anymore. So that's one of the reasons I fucking turned me back on it. But the 50 odd viewers I've got watching these videos, I've got a comment off, I think his name's Josh, I hope you don't mind me saying your name mate. I hope you're doing alright fella. Said he's going through some shit at the moment and... I tend to see comments like that a lot. Um, not so much in my comment section, because like... Fucking comment section's like a ghost town. <laughs> in like other comments on other YouTubers videos, or comments that get put in... Uh, in people's streams, you know, during the chat and... People just saying that they're struggling with like a... Uh, some kind of anxiety and I, f I see it I think it's it, there's too much of it in the world like and I think it only got it got exacerbated during the whole COVID thing I think hey, I think people really struggle and it's been going way before COVID you know stresses and anxieties you know I'm not saying it's all because of COVID that we've got here's a romskis kickboxing um, yeah that's what I just I know there's like the whole thing with like mental health now and it's like it's good to speak out about it if, you, if you're suffering with certain things, and it is, you know. Um, and it really is like that the worst thing you can do when it comes to like stresses and depression and stuff and just general anxieties is, is, is keep that shit to yourself bottled up. You know, I think that's, that's the worst thing you can do to carry all that inside you and not have any, have any kind of release, you know what I mean? just a terrible analogy I know but like look at like a steam pipe you know like steam pipes a steam pipe have as valves to release pressure you know like in the whole the, just the way I was thinking of this the other day just like the word, where we get our words from and shit and like releasing pressure because if you don't let that steam out of the pipe you know what I mean it's gonna fucking blow you know and I think the same things with it you could apply that to like stresses in in, in humans you know and don't let that pressure out, that pressure, that anxiety, if you don't vent it in some way, it's going to lead to something bad, do you know, like, and it's just, it's whether you've got the people around you to talk to about it, you know, like, whatever you've got going on in your life, like, some people are, like, really good listeners, and, like, if you, and it's not easy to just bring this up to someone, especially when everyone around you thinks that, oh, he's fine, or she's fine, you know, I don't see them with any problems, it's, but what really is, the person's just bottling it all up, and they don't want to, some people like might feel like a burden, you know, like when they're offloading a problem, or they might feel like judged for saying that they're going through shit, you know, and you know, people might look at you, oh, what, you're feeling depressed or you're feeling anxious. What about what? What's wrong with you? Do you know what I mean? What What's happened to you? You know that kind of thing where people frown at you when you, you people view it as a sign of weakness, like you know when you, you confess to having some kind of like I don't know mental illness or you're going through like bouts of depression or. You get anxious about things, you know, like, and what do you get anxious about? What are you, some kind of weirdo? I'm telling you now, I think everyone suffers from mental health, stresses, anxieties, depressions. I think every, I think it's, it's, it's like a, 
it's a byproduct of being a human being. Like, there's no way you can go through this life just vomiting sunshine and being happy all the time. I think it's physically impossible, and it's also not good for you. I think you need to experience bad shit. What's the saying? I know it's a cliche, uh, a cliche saying, but it's fucking true. Like, tough times create tough men, you know, and women as well. But it's true. Tough times produce stronger people. Like. Hello everyone, it's just true. I'm, um, and I'm joined by Frank Shamrock uh, for what should be give it an example. I think like people in like like Eastern Europe, you know, like countries like Russia and stuff like that in poverty. I know there's poverty all over the world, but you know, it's cold, it's impoverished, but some people in that part of the world they're they're mentally tough, you know, like and it's because they have to endure shit just day after day, you know, like and but when things get on top of you, it's just it's hard to, to plow through it sometimes. I, I I know I could speak from when I talk about everyone having mental health or stresses or depression or stuff. I'm no difference, you know. Um, in my early was it late teens, early twenties, I was a I was a self harmer, you know. I used to I used to cut myself, I used to slash my arms, and it's horrible. Now. I've still got the scars to remind me of it, and I'm way past that now. I haven't done that for years. Um, but when things would get on top of me. I couldn't handle it and I felt like I had to it's a self-loathing thing with me as well like I was I was I was punishing punishing me oh well. punishing myself like I, I, I don't I, just, I go through bouts of self-loathing where I don't I don't like myself I don't know why because oh it's a Romskis fucking do you take my head off as I'm talking I probably should shut up for a minute and get this out of the way and go back to talking. He's able to block that head kick delivered with bad intentions. The guard was up, and the overhand just oh. doesn't deliver the intended impact. Nails him with a solid oh. left hand to the head. Parry the uppercut. Wilson has plenty of momentum heading into this fight following an impressive win in his last outing. Let's watch that stamina. Oh, oh he fucking sidestepped right into a fucking head kick. Zoromskis scores with the right hook. There's an effect. This is just teeing off on me. Now we're seeing some space as they disengage. He lands that punch right to the noggin. Look at him, he's just fucking neoed Matrix in me. Just up in a clinch. Get off me. Knees, knees, knees. Wilson gives himself from breathing room as he backs away from the clinch. Oh, Wilson fucking just walked into that head kick. kick. Oh, that could have hurt, but great defense being showcased here against that head kick. Ooh, that one looked like it was going right for the head. Good defense as he blocks it overhand. Zoromskis blocks the rear front kick. Oh, great job of blocking the head kick. Oh, he's put together a nice combination Big head here. movement does nothing, just fucking counters it. Thought I'd do a bit of head movement there. Fucking forgot all about it. But Neither of these fighters is bothered with taking it to the ground. They want to stand and bang. Head movement. That's the way some fans like it. They just want to see two guys swing at each other until someone drops. Oh, some pretty impressive defense on display as he was able to use his quick reflexes to block what looked like a knockout head kick. Oh, he was looking to turn his lights out Oof. with that overhand. Nice block. Oh, fucking have some of that shit. Fucking flying knee. Wilson shows no hesitation. He blasted him with that soccer kick. He's going to go cover. No, he's just going to get murdered. Fucking <laughs> by a constant Can barrage. You know, it is too much. This fight is over. The champion remains on his throne. And still. We are 19 minutes. Roof time for one more. Finish me what I was saying. Yeah, are you sir? Was a self harmer. Uh, just a hor horrible case of like self loathing and hatred for myself. And luckily, I've had, I had a couple of people around me who I could vent this to. It was my best mate who I've known since primary school, and and my girlfriend, bless her. You know, she stood by me through the whole thing, and she's been, even when it was probably really tough for her. You know, to see me going through that and to uh, 
I didn't want to, I didn't want to be offloading that onto her the whole time. It's like she doesn't deserve to hear that, you know. And but I think we all we're all I'm, you know I'm doing a lot better now than than what I was. I still get down from time to time, like of course, like it, but when I when I when I get down, it actually it's very heavy. It happens very quickly, and I find it hard to shake off, you know. But I'm trying to get a better handle on it, and just I la just when it does happen. I'm not saying to myself, oh, uh, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up in the head because I'm feeling this way. It's like I'm allowing it to happen, you know, like because I know it's gonna pass eventually, you know. And I had like I went to like dark places. I thought of like fucking suicidal thoughts at one point, in and out at different points in my life, you know. I just feel like my life wasn't going anywhere, and and you know, gonna amount to nothing, and I'm a failure, and all this stuff, and you know, it's. But I'd never, I never people would say to me, oh, you, do you ever take like antidepressants or anything like that? And I've said, no, I've never been to the doctor over it. I don't want to be like given a pill to control it. I want to, I want, I want to learn to control it with your, my own mind. Do you know what I mean? Because I think once you get on them pills, I know what they do help some people. I'm not knocking it. I think they've probably done wonders for a lot of people who've had mental health stresses and stuff like that, you know, but they're not for everyone. And in some cases, they've even led to people's actually taking their own lives, like increasing the suicidal tendencies more. Hey, it's L1. Um, so they're not for everyone, but they have worked for some people. But uh, I never wanted to take that step and started to taking them because I didn't want to feel like numbed by them. Oh, I want to feel me emotions, whether they're good or like the good emotions or like negative ones. And I want to feel it all, you know, I don't want to be numbed. So I opted not to take them. I'm, uh, I've never took an antidepressant. Um, what do I want to do? Submissions again, I guess. Yeah, but I, I see it more and more. Like I, I just feel like most people in the world are walking around with some kind of either depression in some form or another, some kind of an anxiety, mental illness. You know, I, my anxiety. Even though I just talked about, I've, I've improved a lot over the years and. I still get anxious, like you know, about things. I get, I'm, I'm like a, a person who likes to stay in a lot. I don't like going out, you know. Like, I don't like being in big groups and around crowds. And I think the outside world's nuts, to be honest with you. People are crazy, you know. You just see like people can just snap at any minute, just at like an encounter in like the local department store, you know, like or your supermarkets. If someone just like you see people's, at least when COVID was going on, like people getting into fights over like masks and shit, you know, like, and it's just like any. And, you know, just every time you turn the news on now, like some poor bastard's been stabbed in the streets because of just some fucking psychos walking around with a knife and, you know, it's the, way, the outside will fucking scares me. I think it, it's like we're all we're all NPCs in a game and, and some of us are glitched, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm walking around doing mad shit like fucking Skyrim NPCs, and like walking backwards and that and saying the same dialogue over and over again, you know, and I kind of think of it like that. But it, I think most people, and not everyone will admit it, there's people who go around, oh, not wrong with me, I haven't got any mental health problems, and I don't get that. I think it's bullshit. I think when people are in, in their own home and behind closed doors, when no one gets to see them, you know, some people are just really good at, like, hiding, like, poker face in their emotions, you know, and uh, when they're upset or down, you know. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like to, to, to show that to anyone. They see it as, like, a weakness to, to, for them to see, for anyone to see them that way. And But I think, I think as a species, we're a... A, it just comes like pre-programmed into us, like the abilities to be depressed and uh, abilities, the like to to get mentally ill, and you know we we're just we're, we're apes, aren't we? If you think about it, we're, we're not like in this modern city, living as modern world. It's like a I don't know. I think it's an overload for our primate brains. You know, we're not used to like stresses like driving cars and I don't know, I'm Frank Sherlock, about, but... as we get set for what should be an exciting battle. I just think every, it's something that everyone gets, whether they admit it or they realise that it's happening to them or not. And oh, I just I wish it wasn't so common, you know, like it's I just wish people had like better lives and they weren't shit didn't get to people as much as it does, you know. But Unfortunately, it does. It's just a a byproduct of being alive. Life is tough, you know, and it really the hardest game you'll ever play is the game of life, I think. And Here's the tail of the tape there's times I didn't want to play the game anymore, and 
you know, obviously that means doing the unthinkable and taking your own life, but I thought I thought like that at times. I was like, I don't want to play this game anymore, you know. We're almost winning the same clobber, mate. We're winning the same game. This guy judo fella. I think I fought this guy, haven't I? Well, it didn't take long for him to take this fight to the ground. Nicely executed. Take let's go for the armbar. I don't know why, but let's, let's go for the submission. Oh, he is working the body nicely. Oh, he passed. Get that guard back. Get Wilson over that guard. looking for another knockout win. You'll recall in his last fight, he was absolutely brutal in finishing the fight via strike. Pass again. He transitions into half guard. Low on He's the got out. Guard now and looking to minimize any damage. God, this guy's just passing with ease. I'm gonna be careful here. I'm gonna get fucking submissive if I'm not careful. Wilson is the definition of a champion. He's defended his title multiple times. Yeah, there's no question about it. He'll be remembered as one of the better champions. Oh, oh wow, that punch was delivered from the sky, but it came He's got up just Hades. to punch me. He blocks the rear front kick. Oh, that overhand was meant to drop him, but he does a great job of blocking it. That strike landed like a brick. Let's get up. Let's start unloading on. Get some strikes going. We haven't got anything going in this fight. Wilson scores his first kick of the fight. Oh, and he just manages to block that head kick. Wow. Get off they me. Come together in the get him in the corner function. there with the spinning back kick. He's able to get the double underhooks. Now we're seeing some space as they disengage. Oh, there's oh, the block in the spin two of them. I only meant to do one, but it gave me another one. He's been hurt by the champion. Oh. Ooh, that one looked like it was going right for the head. Good defense as he blocked. Oh, a nasty soccer kick. That's it. It's over. Yeah, so if you're out there and you're struggling with stuff, just, uh, you know, it might seem, things might seem hopeless, that there's no, uh, there's no light at the end of the tunnel and everything just feel like this dark, dark cloud is just constantly following you, you know, and it's never going to clear up, but it will. You know, that, that darkness doesn't stick around forever. You know, it's cheesy and cliche, but all you're going to do is light. You know, you like that match and it lights up some, that darkness will fade just because there's light there. It'll, or, you know, that sunlight will make that darkness move out of the... You know, it sounds like woo-woo shit, but... What I'm getting at is it's not... The, that that bad bad times are not going to last forever, you know, and try and make it work for you. You know, this fucking... Like that. Let that shit strengthen you, you know what I mean? So Josh, I hope you're doing all right, mate, and I hope you're whatever you're going through at the moment. Passes, passes soon in time, you know. You'll come out of it stronger than ever. Keep your chin up, fella. That goes for everyone as well, you know. Just, just do your best to get through your shit, you know. Everyone's got this shit. Everyone's carrying stuff around with them and you know, deals with it in their own way. But well, I said it earlier, but just as a start, trying to find someone to to talk to, you know, it sounds corny, but it really does help. You know, like there's no way. The worst thing you can do is bottle that up inside and, and not release it to anybody, even if it's just one person who understands. You know, and that's all that you need. That's just a, a huge step in dealing with stuff. Hey, it's Boss Rudin here. Man, you really impressed me in that fight. Nice win. Let's train hard and add another one to your record. Let's do it, Boss. We'll do that for the next one, though, because we're at 29 minutes. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Sign this. Oh, Sakurai gets another shot. We dusted him pretty easy last time. We'll sign that, and then we'll call it a video, I think. Alright, thanks very much for watching everyone. Whatever you've got going on, I hope it doesn't grip you for long. Fight through that shit. Chin down, hands up as they say. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everyone. See you next time.